centuries, I have felt their coming. Shrouded in vanity, they believe themselves obscured. Free to wage their covert war upon the pure and the righteous. Even now, they gird their souls with contempt. Stalking their prey with a morbid pride. But they do not see the reckoning I have prepared for them. For their crimes, they will pay with most holy sacrifice. <laughs> For the grandfather's truths cannot be denied. Okay. <laughs> What's up? Ranger Rain 5 here, and welcome to Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunter. God damn, that's a lot of words, actually. I'm just, I'm just gonna call it uh, Chaos Gate. Anyways. Welcome to Chaos Gate. Um, yeah, we got another freaking uh, Warhammer game on our hands and stuff like that because I've been trying to get into the series and a lot of the games uh, went on sale on Steam uh, for really cheap. So, um, hey man, just I figured, you know what? You know, let's explore together, you know? Cause we're, uh, you know, that's, that's what the channel is all about. Right? It's about, oh, us. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I heard that this game is, can pretty much kick you in the balls and spit in your face and leave you uh or in other words be pretty difficult um but i think we're gonna go ahead and go with standard i played a couple of xcom like games and stuff like that and i haven't gotten any of the dlc or anything like that um if i end up liking this game then i might check out the dlc even though there's one dlc that has a lot of negative reviews uh it was a dreadnought dlc um and i'm not quite sure why uh i i, I mean I'm, from what i know dreadnoughts are pretty good but i think it had something to do with like how limited the dreadnought can be um and the fact that it's just a inconvenience to repair because it's expensive and stuff like that i don't know um i i i don't know too much about this game i don't know too much about the warhammer 40k the only thing i know a little bit about are the blood angels okay and that was because we played uh battle sector like however long ago you know it was since you know i put out this video but anyways let's see so disable manual saving no we'll keep that on dlc units okay again i don't have any of the dlc units but but we'll keep it on um maybe there's like i heard that there's some free stuff that came out with each dlcs with hey man who don't like who don't like flcs you know free lcs free downloadable stuff uh special launch equipment custom set the master craft equipment was made available for players who participated in activities leading to the game's launch they were later released to all players these weapons are well, that's cool I, I fucking hate it when like games like devs lock stuff behind um you know well just behind crap that you know you can no longer get uh so ha having this unlocked to uh everybody is fine with me because that's kind of like having a dlc that nobody can buy you know well maybe only like select few people but yeah so besides i hadn't actually heard about this game until um the game came out so and i heard some good things about it so let's uh let's see if we can learn some more warhammer stuff it is the 41st millennium for more than a hundred centuries the Emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. Mankind wages a never-ending battle for survival against the demonic power of the Chaos Gods. But by one force is humanity shielded from true darkness. The Grey Knights. This secret chapter of Space Marines are the Imperium's surest defense against that which the Emperor foresaw would be its greatest threat, humanity's blade against the demon. For in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Oh. 
Unidentified Astartes vessel. This is Captain Parani Everick of the warship Holiness of Ra. Geheris is lost. Repeat, Geheris is lost. All Imperial vessels are to withdraw at once. Astartes vessel, do you read me? Geheris is doomed. Please acknowledge this warning and... You have done all you can, Captain. Go, in the Emperor's light. You cannot sail into this storm. We do what we must. Farewell, Captain. Tech Priest, report. Hexagonic wards are under maximal pressure. Commander, we cannot maintain this orbit for long. Dispatch the assault team at once. I will join them and put an end to this myself. Your will be done. Yeah, I have to say, some of the characters was kind of funny. <laughs> oh my god, more cutscene. Alright. The assault team is engaged, Commander. They clear a path for your arrival. Here I stand. One unbreakable shield against the darkness. Tonight the Cadium falls, Hector. Our quest is finally near its end. Palamedes, report. We have cleared a path through this chaff. Our target lies ahead. Time is against us, brothers. We breach the cathedral. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> so, okay, against the cathedral. Position your cursor here and select position. And confirm move. Okay. Ha, deluded zealots. Your Imperium shall burn! Oh, ah, okay. I haven't heard about these guys yet. I thought it was just like orcs and alien and elves and anything that wasn't human pretty much that uh were pretty much, you know, all they were fighting. So full color reduces damage from direct attack by a hundred, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 we need to click it twice to have them move. Alright, current points, action points, east turn. Maybe movement. Okay, so this is a little bit like uh, Battle Sector, except you're moving like one character at a time. So, range attack, choose the target, uh, side bolt. With a storm bolter. Okay. And then confirm it. Okay. Uh, Palamedes storm bolter has zero ammunition. Remaining reload it now so that he can continue to use it. Okay. Oh, wow. okay. So it's just an action point but Yeah, you definitely don't want to forget to reload your gun You'd be basically caught with your pants down in a prison shower All right, partial cover provides some damage protect reduction against range attacks so. Oh my boy got a sword too, okay Alright, and then what, these are the Grey Knights? Okay, I haven't heard about these guys either. So, like I said, like, okay, I'll, I, holy shit, there's Blood Angel, Blood Raven, Blood Knight, or Grey Knights, all that shit, so. Alright, uh, remove range attacks, let the destination, alright, we're just gonna fuck this guy up. Nice. Ah! Uther, dispense of that heretic with your blade. Grant them no quarter. Yes, mother. I am the Emperor's Fury. What a nerd. You're out of cover, Uther. Trust in the Aegis. Okay, so I just gave him like a bigger shield. Cool. <laughs> Die, Imperial Dog! Here's a good spot. That's the, wait, Overwatch. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, so the enemies can set Overwatch. Okay, that's one thing I noticed in Battle Sector that I, I haven't encountered yet. Overwatch. 
Oh my god, they're both doing Overwatch. Oh, this dude is so fucked. Time so, against us. I will breach the cathedral. I didn't really explain this uh, in Battle Sector, but if you put a, somebody on Overwatch, they basically watched an area, and if a character moves in that certain area, like even if it's not the enemy's turn, they can still get some free damage on you. It it's really ass. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, move your camera to the cathedral to see what's inside of it. Okay. Uh, breach the door by moving Agravane uh, to the cathedral. So double click that. Yeah. Demons, I will not. Oh shit, yo, these are the uh, corn demons. I like these guys, these guys are cool. If Nurgle wasn't a thing, then uh, then corn would be my favorite, but I think I like Nurgle a little bit more. Which is also what kind of attracted me to this game, because I know that Nurgle had a big role in this game. Uh, hazardous objects are identified with this icon. Oh, I see, the icon on the bottom, okay. They can often be interacted with to you serve Anna's, I guess. Select the pillar. Ooh. Oh, so you can use the environment to, you know, do some damage? Yo, XCOM, y'all can learn from this, all right? XCOM 3, I'll be down for that shit, too. That was a good game. XCOM 2, ooh, good game. Damn. Yo, that was kind of dope. Atlantis, <laughs> your brother is pimped. Advance and deliver retribution. Hey, man, brother. All right, so I guess we gotta move this guy over here. Deploy your frag grenade, brother. We are the cinematics and stuff are like that is pretty cool. Your saints are gonna be Jude, sinner. To the sword, he is. Train your bolter on that doorway. Unleash your blessed ammunition. Okay, here we go. So I'm putting some Overwatch on here. So now, uh, if these guys go into my Overwatch uh, position, then I will automatically fire and get some damage on them. So. Palamides, prepare for the demon's charge. <laughs> All right, some Overwatch on here too. This game is kind of cool, y'all. I'm actually, I'm actually already digging the game. We're only like what 13 minutes in. <laughs> yeah. So you see how you like ran into both our little cone of vision and got some free damage on him, and he's dead. Oh, you're so dead. Um. Please don't. Okay, uh, adjacent enemies with melee weapons will automatically strike if you move out of range, just like, just like Battle Sector. Okay, so playing a little bit of Battle Sector and a little bit of XCOM, it, it's, it's definitely going to help me catch up to learn how to play this game. Uh, okay, so ignore the reaction strike and set your waypoint towards the inner sanctum. Oh, I'm so going to get stabbed in the butt. Ow. He smacked, he, he smacked my cake. You can rotate the camera. Oh, yeah, I've already figured that out. All right. Uh, your knight will also have powerful abilities that can that can cost both AP and willpower to use. Okay. These soulless curves shall hinder us no longer. <laughs> Damn, that was kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty sick. Demon Palamedes. Engage him now. Uh, my Wolverine calls did not do anything. Uh, the Blood Litter has an auto defense parry that can cancel your first melee attack against it. Okay, so we gotta uh, attack it again. I will <laughs> we cannot lose another battle, brother Iolanthus. Both demons must be destroyed. These are some really like heavenly angel names. I like it. Iolanthus, you know, I yo, yo, if they make me if they make me name my own guy, I'm gonna name him Castiel, you know? Supernatural. That was a good show. Well what is this? Okay. Uh persistent targeting. Successful critical strikes with melee attacks allow you to damage one of the enemy's target point for an advantage in combat. 
Let the torso for bonus two stun. Okay. Wait, so if I attack him, it's gonna disable his melee weapon, it's gonna afflict enraged, and it's gonna also stun him. I think. Oh no, okay. So each of these are actually different uh, points that I can attack. But because this is the tutorial, I can only choose this one, but normally I can choose these other two if I wanted to. Alright, you stun the blood letter. Uh, a stunned enemy will always be crit by your next attack. Okay, so you can give a critical on them, giving you easy access to precision targeting. Execute? Yo, please be a cool animation. You know what? He got cut in half. I'm down with that. Did the enemies actually stay there too? Like, did they disappear at one point? Oh no, because there's bodies over there. So they do stay on the battlefield. I like that. All right. <clears throat> uh, four strike. <laughs> All right. Cool. I will move on ahead. Good luck, brothers. <laughs> Enemy turn. Uh, where? There is not much time, brothers, but we must prepare for the coming battle. Swap to the next available Grey Knight. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is the Grey Knight fashion. Cool. Palamedes, resuscitate Uther, so you may both defend against them. Uh, if I uh decide to play more of this game on my off time, which I most likely will, because I'm actually already down with this, um, then I definitely will do some more research on the uh, the Grey Knights. Some knights have the ability that can heal others during combat. We'll do that, we'll do that, and do that. Take up defensive positions, Palamedes. The enemy reinforcements will be here soon. It says reload. Oh, yep. And reload our weapon. <clears throat> Your resolve is commendable. Join Palamedes in defense of the cathedral. Knights recovered from being critically wounded will only have 50% max health until the end of the mission. They can only recover once per battle. Okay, so if this guy goes down again, then he's gonna be ultra dead. Ultra Super Saiyan dead. Alright, gonna reload our weapon. Iolanthus with me. There's a breach in the wall ahead. I will breach the inner sanctum. It's a definitely corn realm because of the all the blood fountains that are around. this breath for it is your last blood for the blood god oh, i love that oh, i love that same man i love playing corn in uh total war so yeah so if you haven't noticed yet pretty much uh the corn demons um they're your stereo stereotypical evil red with horn demon right. dudes so all right great knight's power armor can leap great distances and or yeah great distances okay jump over the fissure simply by moving to the other side oh, okay so, boom. nice <clears throat> i will show you true wrath demon all right so okay so i just gotta go select this dude and stab him in the nards stab him in the nards <laughs> enough uh, Overwatch and multiple shots. Overwatch grants one range attack for each AP remaining when used. 
provided the character has sufficient ammunition. Alright. Alright, so basically when these guys start storming in, we're gonna open fire on them. I think that guy is, yeah, dead. Okay, there's nothing I could have done there. Flank that demon and fire at will. Set another waypoint and then press it again to confirm the movement. Oh, okay, so you can move him from one point to the other. Oh, that's good. All right, range attack, shoot a target. All right. Just... Oh, right in the balls, dude. Nice one. That's what I'm saying, man. Just kick him in the nuts. Place with your master's fire. This ends now, demon. Uh, are you sure you want to just step right into the fire? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, you're gonna you can't get your nuts burned off, man. But can I? Like, no, nah, I don't look like I have much of a choice. <laughs> it's not even letting me select any of the blocks here, so fuck it. I guess we're going for it. Ah, uh, he's he's definitely dead. You no, know, he's not. Oh my god, he's standing on his feet. What a badass! ended. Where is that report? Report? Where is the commander? He died in Champions death. Blade on blade against the Bowers blasphemy. So, so far what it seems like i think like the great knights are kind of like the nice templar um you know just in terms of like i guess if they're using battle prayers and all that stuff and taking out the heresy then uh cool so that's cool i like it when they use like kind of like real world uh you know things uh your commander has fallen but not all or but all is not lost the great knights are powerful genetically modified super soldiers they can sustain injuries that would kill a normal human, but they are not invincible. You nice each have a special resource called resilience, which indicates how many critical wounds they can survive over the course of the campaign before the injuries require their remains to be returned to your home on Titan. As your knights rise in ranks, they will eventually earn more resilience. Okay.
A long campaign over at last. A victory at the cost of the commander's life. Alive, he was ever a faithful servant to the Emperor. A true hero. In death, at least <clears throat> his duty has finally ended. A session. This ship remains in crisis. The Baleful Edict is seriously damaged. There are grievous matters to attend. Ah, yes. That is why I have invited our guest. You have appointed him to take the commander's place? That me! No one else suitable survived the campaign. Falsehood, you also live. My apologies, Acting Commander. The priests of Mars do not understand our nightly oaths. <laughs> our men and stores are severely diminished. Your task is to lead us for the voyage home. It is a simple duty, and once we return to Titan, I will put the future of your command to the chapter's grandmasters. In the meantime, I will provide what advice I can. I will also support you with counsel and service. But remember, the Baleful Edict is my chief concern. Be careful with this ship. We sail for Titan on your word, Commander. Oh, so like normally, like with these games, uh, we become we are now the new commander. So, uh, with the fall of Commander Agravan, you have been promoted to provisional command of the Baleful Edict for our journey back to Titan. It should be a simple duty, but you will need to manage our limited resources and respond to any threats we encounter along the way. Strike Force Zep or Zephos is at your disposal, Commander. Could you please join me in the strategium? Okay. One of our battle brothers has proved himself worthy. Let us honor his deeds. He read his battle bible. Let's do this. Uh. Lantus. Okay. Wait, isn't this the guy that survived that, uh, like the only survivor in that last mission? Brother Ulrich is a talented justicer. Please decide where he should focus his training to support. With every promotion, your Whoa. knights gain two ability points, which you can use to expand their capabilities. Okay, this shit is huge. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's see what we got here. So we got the health. Okay. Uh, Cyborg gains one damage. This knight can now equip Terminator armor. That sounds interesting. The knight gains two max willpower. Let's get the Terminator armor. Oh, we can actually get two, too. All right, let's go. We'll just put some more stuff into the uh, Confirm armor. This promotion will apply your ability <sighs> choices to Ulrich permanently increasing his rank. Here we go. Excellent. <laughs> when you are finished, please join me at the star map. Our ship is in dire need of repair. We had best set a course for Titan and debrief the Grand Masters. All right, where's... Where is Titan? Is it here? Issue the travel order to okay. begin our return to Titan. Full sail ahead, boys. In route to Titan. Baleful Edict, in the name of the God Emperor. Dominus, who is this interloper? Code scrapings indicate an inquisitorial transmission. Baleful Edict, prepare for my arrival. Duty calls, Commander. We should open a Vox link. I don't think she's giving us much of a choice. Permission granted to come aboard.
Lord Emperor, I found you. I must commandeer this vessel at once. This is more fucked up than Chucky. We are bound for Titan. The Edict cries out for repair. The tech priest speaks the truth, Inquisitor. Our last crusade bled us dry. I'm not blind, Knight. But heresy does not operate at our convenience. My destination is Koromar Prime, within this very system. Not such a taxing journey, I'd expect. And what is it that you hope to find there? This. Beneath rotting skies, the air thickens with a world's final breath. Seeds planted in flesh and bone, watered with blood and tears. A warrior alone in the garden of a grinning god. These are scraps of astropathic whimsy. There's more. It grows. It spreads. A great dispersal upon the etheric wind. The bloom proliferating. Fire. Then Koromar, then world after world. Its roofs spread from an ancient veil. Inquisitor, hear me, hear me, hear me. Who tends the garden? The Astropath sacrificed himself to send that message. Now you understand why we must investigate. Commander. We cannot risk further damage to this vessel. It is the chapter ship, Dominus. The Inquisitor has every right to request our support. It is not a request. <laughs> Commander, with your leave, we will set our course for this Koromar Prime. Yes, good. That will do for now. Alright, we're also afflicted with disease have some level of Nurgle corruption. But this is higher than anticipated. We should investigate this further. Okay, so it looks like we're about to go on a mission with Nurgle shit going on. Which I'm excited about because, oh man, I love me some Nurgle, man. Alright, uh, left click on Chaos Detected. Where? If we do oh. not investigate this threat, the consequences will be dire. The low level of warp corruption can lead to increasing amounts of unexplained phenomena and mutations, especially if a plague is involved. You must make planet fall immediately, Commander. Okay. Oh, wait. So this is the kind of stuff that... Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Did this planet exhibit signs of some unknown plague, but is hold over the populace and not yet firmly established? We should seize this opportunity, or seize this opportunity, to purge it from the system completely. And then unknown minions of chaos, okay. Okay. Commander, it is <clears throat> our duty to support this Inquisitor, but we should complete this task as swiftly as we can. The Grand Masters on Titan are waiting for our report. Okay, well, let's start the mission then. Report. Signals from quarantine beacons detected in the upper atmosphere, but the surface itself is silent. Plague, Commander. Send your squad to the surface. Knights of Titan, you are the instrument of the Emperor's will. Make planet fall and discover if the Inquisitor's fears are founded. You should evaluate your knight's armaments and ensure they are best suited to the battle at hand. Press left click to configure knight's equipment. So let's get our boy uh, go to loadout and melee weapon. Force Halberd can inflict a preemptive first strike on an adjacent enemy. I suggest choose which halberd you would like to equip. Your options will be limited until we return to Titan. Got Garage Reach and Ektar's Reach. But they look like they all do this. Wait, oh no, they don't do the same thing. Okay. But enemy moves in, uh, just to this unit. You have to. Uh, okay, so they all do that. 
This weapon has 5 plus crit. That one has 1 plus crit damage. I think we'll go with Dodge Reach. Back it up. I guess we're ready to start the mission. So we got Fuel, Voldridge Storm, and Aegir Harden. Oh, and I just realized they got different classes too. So, Jesticar, a per Purgator, Interceptor, and Apothecary. Interesting. Interesting. Commander, have your men look for signs of this plague. Be vigilant, brothers. All right. With haste. Enemy near. <clears throat> Weapons ready. Oh, we're gonna move this guy. Um, I guess right here is fine. <laughs> I do not really want to know what happens when it gets to hundred percent. That's for sure. Uh, this must be, uh, yeah, Nurgle worshippers. <laughs> you can review detailed information about units, status, and abilities. Highlight the enemy and press that button. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if I really want to put this guy out there, but I think I got... Ah, fuck it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. No, 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 no. He sounded like he liked it. Damn, he just got cut in half. That was dope. What is this anyways? I have no clue what that is. Alright. You going? Eat this. Barely a scratch. Okay, so he's putting Overwatch down now. Die, Crap. die, die! Pain is beneath me. Go. Another falls to the knights of Titan. That was awesome. I didn't know it was gonna knock him back that far too. Nice. I am the Empress Vengeance. Later. Oh, I thought it was gonna actually knock him off the map. That kind of stinks. I will be dazed now, so. Execute, hell yeah. Damn! Oh. 
No, I didn't no. expect that. That was fucking awesome, bro. Oh, that was cool. Oh, that oh, that got me hard right there. <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit it. All right. Moving swiftly. More horrors invade our realm. Yes, Commander. I can see what is this thing? It doesn't really let me do anything, so whatever. whatever. Yes, Commander. hungry wait that creature inquisitor we have seen the dead walk in this Enemy way before sighted. as have i hox walkers are evidence of warp corruption this is no natural plague all right we'll go ahead and have him set overwatch here i shall halt their charge have him set up there. Uh, watch there. Okay, I think I'm just out of range from that to do that. Got to throw a grenade now. I show the fuck can. Let's do it. I take all comers. Oh, that's oh, that is so good. <laughs> that's satisfying. Taking position. <laughs> I will need nice. to examine this corpse and I will not tolerate this contamination spreading to my servitors. Do not obstruct me, tech priest. I will follow proper protocols. Try harder, whelp. Fall. See them fall, brothers. Satisfactory effort. Now return with my carcass so I can set to work. We will deliver them to you as soon as containment is properly confirmed and sanctified. Be swift about it. If this plague has already spread beyond this planet, then we will have far more ground to cover. Oh, okay, that was it. I, was, I was expecting like an entire... Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, actually. I just didn't know there was going to be that... Uh, I didn't know the mission was going to be that short. Follow me. <laughs> oh, look at my boys just posing it up right here. He got a little bit of blood on his armor. That's fine. All right. Uh, we have located evidence of vile pox walkers on this planet. A uh, the plague lord's work. We have recovered a body so that the Inquisitor Va uh, Vakir can investigate further. All right. Oh, okay, and I see. So they got ex obviously they'll get experience points uh, when they uh, go into battle, and then that's the how many experience points they need before they can get promoted. So cool. All right. Mission objectives achieved, Commander. Our guest wishes to speak with you in the Libris.
I must commend you on this impressive archive of demonic lore, Commander. It rivals some I've seen in inquisitorial fortresses. I will require it as a base of operations for my studies. I respect your authority in matters of combat, but I must remain until I can ascertain some solution to this plague. I am, of course, open to recommendations on which lines of study you feel would best serve the mission. I must insist, however, on beginning my research with a necropsy of the Poxwalker carcass your brothers recovered. I am certain they hold a key to understanding this corruption. Okay, here we go. So I can uh, get her to do some research for us. I will conduct us. a necropsy of the recovered corpse to see what I can learn. Choose the Poxwalker Necropsy Research Project. Uh, pox, pox walkers we discover on Koromar are a sign of some malevolent force behind this plague. I am certain that the that within the carcasses of the infected, I will further I'll find further clues to a source. I shall begin at once. Inform your crew the time will be disturbed. Yeah. All right. Commander, I toil with a critical lack of resources. I request you attend me in the manufacturum. My servitors have restored the manufacturum to operational use, but the edict remains severely damaged. Without access to a proper dockyard, restoration will be slow and limited by the resources we can requisition from Titan or nearby inquisitorial enclaves. As of this moment, reviving the edict's core power output takes absolute primacy. All right. I must improve the edict's power output in order to conduct more extensive repairs. Uh, plasma reactor. A servitor still takes six days. Okay. I must now interface with the logic engines. I trust you have a great deal to attend to. Commander, I have adjusted the star map to display our current sector. However, our intelligence here is sparse. I suggest we bide our time until the Dominus restores power to our scanners. Dominus has restored the star map to its full function. We are receiving a barrage of scanning data and astropathic scrapings from across the sector. This plague appears to have already spread its tendrils far and wide. We are faced with reports of two infected systems. We should monitor this infestation carefully and judge where best to direct our forces while the Inquisitor pursues her answers. Failure will cost many souls. All right, Commander, I have completed repairs to the plasma reactor. Our reconstruction effort can proceed once again. All right. We got stratagem. Talk to Hector. Do you seek wisdom, Commander? I am no ancient, but might be of some help. Is the Inquisitor an aid or a hindrance? He already makes demands on a ship badly in need of restitution. Weird how he has like two different lines. Like he has that, and then he has all the 
Potentially both, she already makes demands on the ship, badly in need of rest restitution, but we should heed her request while at least whilst our goals are aligned. So we are honor bound to her. Even we must respect the authority of the Inquisition when the situation demands it. We may get some leeway for who we are, but the, Inquisi but the Inquisition answers only to him. I note you invoked us as Chamber Mil Mil Militant? Militant? It's a term that has fallen out of fashion. Yeah, it is an ancient law that each Inquisitorial Ordo has a dedicated military arm to use when they require. We, in theory, can be called upon by the Ordo Malleus to which she belongs. The title is somewhat antiquated. Why use it? It was a strategic decision. Ancient customs are invoked that the Inquisitor could now abide by, such as giving us tactical command in the field. See, it is not only Inquisitors who can play the diplomatic games. By all means. Hector, why did you not lead us? It seems the Emperor has other plans for me. Ah, and perfection must means I must focus my effort in more indirect way. In perfection. A matter between myself and the Emperor. As ordered by Grandmaster Voldus, my penis is to serve on the edict, but not leave it. Staying above the battlefields I created to fight on. Nevertheless, your advice will be invaluable. I hope I can be of some use. At least before they have me in turn to Dreadnought's sarcophagus. I hope I do justice to aggravate aggravate legacy. He had a fitting end. Like so many of our brethren, he kept his secrets well, but I know he despised the servants of corn most of all. Why the blood god? Why indeed, it is not my place to say. But there was a stillness around the old commander seething hatred that I didn't see in him against any of the other enemies we faced. Of course corn, being created by rage, would in turn be fed by Agravain's hatred, but that is the nature and irony of chaos. By all means, we okay well i think this is where i'm gonna go ahead and like leave the game off because i think for the rest of it it's just gonna be chit chat and stuff like that so uh wow i like this game <laughs> this game is pretty cool man this is actually one of the better uh 40k games that i actually like um i think i still like uh space marines more but at the time of this recording i've only uh recorded the first part of space marines so um hey we'll see man but regardless though I, uh, I might check out the DLC too, and uh, maybe I'll get some answers to why the Dreadnought one got so many hate. But uh, until then, thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.